These are not your typical one of the mill fouls. These are bone crushing, jaw dropping acts of aggression that have etched their place in basketball lore. From thunderous dunks met with unwavering resistance to heated altercations resulting in flagrant fouls, these moments remind us just how physical basketball can be. Number 10, the elbow. The infamous Meta World Peace elbow occurred during an intense game between Meta World Peace, formerly known as Ron Artest, and James Harden on April 22nd, 2012. Playing for the Los Angeles Lakers, World Peace threw a brutal elbow at Harden, who was then a member of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Like straight out of a Muay Thai match, this vicious elbow resulted in a concussion for Harden. The incident sparked outrage among fans and the basketball community, leading to World Peace receiving a seven-game suspension. This incident remains one of the most memorable and controversial moments in NBA history, cementing World Peace as one of the dirtiest players of all time. Number nine, the punch. The Rudy Tomjanovich and Kemet Washington incident was one of the most disturbing plays in NBA history. On December 9th, 1977, during a game between the Los Angeles Lakers and Houston Rockets, Kermit Washington unleashed a devastating haymaker against Tomjanovich. The punch, fueled by frustration and anger, connected with Tomjanovich's face with such force that it left him unconscious and severely injured. The incident resulted in life-threatening injuries, facial fractures, spinal cord damage, a concussion, and lifelong medical issues from Tomjanovich. In the aftermath, Washington faced severe consequences, including a suspension for the remainder of the season, legal repercussions, and the tarnishing of his reputation. Tomjanovich was never the same player after the punch. He was still able to have a successful career as a coach, winning the NBA championship with the Houston Rockets in 1994 and 1995. Number eight, the body check. The Andrew Bynum and J.J. Barra incident occurred during game four of the 2011 NBA playoffs between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Dallas Mavericks. With the defending champion Lakers being blown out in the fourth and on the verge of being swept, Bynum committed a flagrant foul against Barra. Bynum delivered a vicious body check to Barra while he was in mid-air attempting a layup, causing him to crash to the ground. The incident drew immediate condemnation from fans, players, and analysts for its dangerous and unnecessary nature. Bynum's actions displayed a lack of sportsmanship and respect for his opponent's safety. He was ejected from the game and subsequently faced a suspension. The Mavericks would win the game and sweep the Lakers eventually winning the 2011 NBA Championship. For Laker fans, this was one of the worst games in franchise history as it marked a decade of mediocrity to the storied franchise. Number seven, the free safety. During the 2012 Eastern Conference Semis, Wade was frustrated by a no call on offense, by a no call on the offensive end, and let his temper get the best of him. Darren Colson was going for a fast break layup when Dwayne Wade bulldozed him like a free safety, with Colson flying across the court. There was clear windup, follow through, and malicious intent. Surprisingly, Wade was only given a flagrant one, but really it should have been a flagrant two with a suspension. Why was it not a flagrant two? Some would say since he was one of the league's biggest superstars at the time, Commissioner David Stern gave him a get out of free jail card. Number six, the body slam. Let's rewind the clock to the thrilling 2009 NBA playoffs, where the Los Angeles Lakers and the Houston Rockets were locked in an intense series. Veteran guard Derek Fisher reached his boiling point due to Luis Golas relentless hard fouls and trash talking throughout the game, determined to send a message as Scola was coming to set a screen. Fisher would, would up and slam him into the ground. It's funny how Fisher even rubbed his head after as if he were the victim. Fisher was rightfully given a flagrant two and ejected from the game. This playoff series marked the end of an era where physicality was the norm to now where it seems any hard foul is reviewed for a flagrant. Number five, the flying kick. Bruce Bowen was one of the greatest defensive players ever. He was also known for his dirty play. During a game in the 2006 playoffs, Bowen launched himself towards Wally Zerb Zerbiak in an attempt to block his shot. However, Bowen's momentum carried him off balance and ended up kicking Zerbiak in the face with his foot, like something you would see in a Bruce Lee movie. The incident caused an uproar as it was seen as a deliberate and reckless act that could have resulted in a severe injury. While Bowen claimed it was an accident, the flying kick incident further fueled the perception of him as a player who pushed the boundaries of physicality and raised concerns about player safety. Number four, the flying elbow. 
Back in December 1991, Isaiah Thomas, a beloved superstar, was on a drive to the basket when Karl Malone tried to block his layup. However, what happened next was astonishing. Malone's elbow accidentally collided with Thomas' face with such force that it caused a devastating injury. Can you believe it? Thomas had to be carried off the court and needed a shocking 40 stitches, along with plastic surgery, to recover. It was an incredibly severe blow that left everyone in disbelief. Now, here's the kicker. After the incident, the league handed down a flagrant foul on Malone and a hefty $10,000 fine and a one-game suspension. However, despite the consequences, Malone adamantly claimed that it was an accident and that he did not intend to hurt Thomas. To this day, Malone has never formally apologized. Some would say Thomas deserved it, but to never say sorry is still messed up. Number three, the arm lock. During the 2015 NBA playoffs, Kelly Olynyk played for the Boston Celtics, tangled with love, then a member of the Boston Celtics. In a heated moment, Olynyk locked his arms with Love's and pulled, causing Love's shoulder to dislocate. The incident sidelined Love for the remainder of the playoffs and drew significant scrutiny from fans, players, and analysts. To this day, Olynyk maintains that the injury was inadvertent, but Love believes he did it on purpose, stating that it was not a natural basketball play. Years later, on March 13th, 2023, Love would later throw a hard elbow at Olynyk's face in a regular season game. Unintentional or revenge? You decide. Number two, the hip check. Let's return to the 2007 playoffs where the Phoenix Suns were locked in a bitter rivalry with the San Antonio Spurs. Steve Nash and the Suns had fallen short against Tim Duncan and his Spurs for years. However, this year felt different. Phoenix seemed to have the edge and they were even leading the series until the final moments of game four. But then, in a pivotal moment, the Spurs' Robert Ory delivered a hip check to Nash, sending him crashing into the scorer's table. The benches erupted, but the consequences were even more significant. Amari Stoudemire and Boris Dia, critical players for the Suns, left the bench and were subsequently suspended for the following game, leading to the Suns losing the series. This turn of events drastically altered the course of NBA history. Had the Suns won the series, they probably would have beat Cleveland in the finals, and the subsequent ripples that would have had on the league are crazy to think of. Number one, the clothesline. It's game four of the 1984 NBA Finals, and the stakes are sky high. Kevin McHale and Kurt Rambis find themselves in a defining moment that would change the course of NBA history. Rambis, with a clear path to an uncontested layup, was about to score when McHale decided to make a statement. He didn't just stop the basket, he blatantly clotheslined Rambis. Even in the 80s where physicality was the norm, this was seen as too much. This became one of the most important plays in NBA history. After the Celtics' physical play rattled the Lakers and the Celtics won this title, Pat Riley swore that no team of his would ever be outmuscled again. And it led to the brutal slugfest of the Heat versus the Knicks in the 1990s, which helped Commissioner David Stern to clamp down on physical play, leading to the current state of today's game. These acts of aggression serve as reminders of the fine line between competitiveness and unsportsmanlike behavior. As fans, it's crucial to appreciate the skill and athleticism of the game, while also recognizing the importance of respecting the boundaries and safety of the players. If you like this video, click the like and the bell button. We'll have another video on NBA players for you soon. Take care, until then.